No more monk. All right, chat. Get it out. Get it out. Get your abba ba. Get your plug. Get your what is it called? Um, your fucking your, your monk. Get, get get it all out right now. We're, t we're there. You go. There you go. Yay, shit. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep, there it is. We love Monka. I know, I know, but I can't have it during We Act. I'll get like ADHD overload. <laughs> blink, blink, blink. All right, I see you. Ara, Ara, bro, not for free, man. Relax. Okay, that's enough for me. All right, Mochi said it. We're done. We're turning it off. They're gone! The voices, they're gone! The noises! No more noises! <clears throat> Alright. Shut it down! Redeems are now off. Thank you, team! Thank you much! All my friends are dead. I still hear them when I concentrate! <laughs> you just hear, ah, boba, ah, boba. What can you tell us about uh, Modern Warfare 3? Well, first of all, Jeff, Modern Warfare 3 this year is the complete package. Bye! Yeah, I don't know about that one. I've heard the opposite. Uh, I don't uh, buy it! Uh, uh, talk all you want, but you better convince yourself of it first. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is an abomination. Playtime is over when... Uh, they didn't. He should bring up the Snoop Dogg and uh, the Diablo 4 uh, Lilith and uh, Anarius package as well. I, I'm gonna be disappointed if he doesn't. When he drops in. Ah! 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 Oh God, it's terrible! It's a Frankenstein monster stitched together from bits and pieces of previous games, repackaged and sold to us at full price. You're Fuck yeah. Now. You're an abomination. MW3 has the least new out of any game in the franchise, which is exactly how I felt when the original came out in 2011. This is a world where nothing is solved. Someone once told me, Don. Modern Warfare 3 review repacked and recycled routine. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 review reboot reuse recycle. What? Really? No, look, look. You can't read it, but this is all the. Holy. They even recycled the fucking reviews. A flat circle. This time, it's much worse. All the content at launch was recycled. Well, except for the cutthroat mode. This is compromised. It's a draw. <laughs> Oh, it's a draw? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? You? you guys lost zero, two, and three. <laughs> it's a draw. a draw. Mission command is coping, dude. <laughs> Articles and internal leaks have revealed what we can see with our own eyes. This was clearly planned to be an expansion to MW2. Oh a late my development, God. Activision forced Sledgehammer deeper into the mines to turn it into a sequel. Should have been a DLC for $80. Sucks to suck. Hey, remember when Activision <laughs> confirmed they would stop releasing COD annually? That's what made you No, please, I'm God, lying. no! <laughs> Old habits die hard. Apparently, Bobby Shipdick just couldn't help himself, and he needed to spread his cheeks and dump ass on the Call of Duty brand one last time before they merge with Microsoft. Yeah, before they leave. I really shouldn't have... My, uh, Bobby's also leaving on the 1st, I believe, on the 1st of January. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think he's leaving on the 1st of January. He officially quit. So, this is all his fault. Could have had a better god, but no. Begun! The evil has been va has been vanquished but replaced with another probably. <laughs> Yeah. I have to keep saying this. You can enjoy this game. Hell, I enjoy it at times, but please don't defend it because you deserve better. But am I just yeah. being hyperbolic? That's what I Warfare also always say. Really so bad? Or is there some nugget it's of greatness so hiding beneath the shit? 
I better well, COD? Let's release a 70... COD? COD 1 and 2, man. Those were great times. And now we've devolved completely, utterly, recycling garbage. Dollar expansion, hunt down Makarov, and slide cancel Mac our way straight into this. Mac but before roll, we start our me. search for more missiles, we need to find a rocket. No, not that one. Missiles! One. Rocket Money, ah! the sponsor of today's video. You know what's annoying? Keeping track of all your expenses, subscriptions, and monthly spending. As an all-in-one finance app, Rocket Money helps you save more and spend less. It lets you set up custom budgets, manage all your subscriptions, and lower your monthly bills. You can easily keep track of your credit score. I love too. Rocket Some Money. Some businesses don't Yay, want you to cancel sweet. your subscription. So we they make it easy and confusing to do so. More Rocket missiles. Money makes it easy. My ADHD riddled brain often forgets about things I sign up for, and I end up paying for stuff I don't use. So for someone like me, having an app that keeps track of it for me is amazing. It's time for you too to spend less and save more. Download Rocket Money today. Try it for free using the link in the description. That's rocketmoney.com slash actman. Thank you, Rocket Money, for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Rocket Money. Completely different. How about we start off with the worst part of MW3? Tell us a bit about what is the what is the storyline? What can we expect from this? <laughs> there is no storyline, you wacko! <laughs> yeah, so for the first time for Call of Duty this year, we're doing a direct sequel. Attention. We are now at DEF CON 1. Oh, Some God. of you might not understand why this is a major red Thank flag, you, so let me explain. There's a good reason Call of Duty shifted away from direct sequels starting in 2007. Because the creators realized that releasing a World War II game every year was getting old. It's yeah. why Infinite Warfare got so much shit when it was revealed. Because it was the third futuristic COD game in a row. And why uh. fans initially praised COD World War II for going back to a boots on the ground setting. I've always felt this series was at its most creative during God, the Black so Ops cool, Modern man. Warfare sagas because every year we alternated This is the one that my brother played the most and this one. Actually, no, it was this one and then it was this one and he played a little bit of uh Call of Duty Black Ops. Between two timelines. <laughs> and I watched him play and I played a little bit myself. To modern day the Vietnam and Cold War. I played War the campaign. Yeah, World of War was future. nice. Yeah, it wasn't Changing that bad. The setting always ensured that despite releasing annually, the next COD would feel fresh. We'd explore different parts of the world at different points in time with new factions, characters, sure, and we'd yeah. shoot people with new guns and gadgets. Bam! It was a brilliant strategy to combat franchise fatigue, and it worked for a very long time. When it comes to Modern Warfare 3, however, I'm fucking exhausted. Having the same setting two games in a row does nothing but Mama make the campaign mia. and multiplayer feel more rehashed than it should. The biggest complaint I have is the campaign. It's the worst in the franchise. Mm. How on earth? Could By the way, we watched this. I think it's on YouTube. We watched it. It was heinous. Genuinely, it was the, the writing was terrible. The graphics were terrible. I'm pretty sure he encountered a, quite a lot of bugs too. This be worse than ghosts. New dog model is Black Ops 3. <laughs> Train go boom. And Vanguard. <laughs> that fucking dog, man. We love doggos. Well, when Master Chief took off his helmet in the first episode of the Halo TV show, I never thought I'd have to suffer more than I did that day. Mm. The game opens with some military Pain guys approaching what looks like the gulag from MW2. Apparently, we're here to rescue Prisoner 627. And for a moment, things Mac are looking all right. It feels like a regular mission, and you don't yet realize your plan is the no bad doggo, guys. It, uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, who is it? Oh, it's just some guy. She's lit. Well, She's lit. Oh my god, it drives me up a fucking wall with the fucking horrible accents, man. What? What? That's Makarov? <laughs> I thought it was just some <laughs> random guy. <laughs> Russia's look. sound off. His Russian is terrible. Like actual, actually. I don't know why they do this. Why can't they just hire like an actual? You? They don't even have to be Russian. Just speak fluent Russian. What does it sound like? Okay, so if you're speaking English, uh, it would be like six years. Hello, I am. My name are uh macarov like i don't know it, it's it's the pronunciation i it's just so bad <laughs> the voice acting yeah look like makarov at all russian ben shapiro as makarov he does kind of look like him it's a little weird evil, let's say hypothetically no. that i just killed a man now uh i'm not saying i did but if i did <laughs> i would have had to put a gun against his head and pull the trigger and now he'd be dead let's assume that life has just begun <laughs> but now everything has been thrown away Makarov. <laughs> 
soft, like, like pudgy uh, Ben Shapiro. Yeah. His ponies mount their escape. They stop in an elevator where one of them suggests waiting until the guards are distracted. Oh my Makarov god, that's says, so good. The delay adds risk and then asks us, Who holds power in this gulag? The guards or the prisoners? Trick question. The electricians do. Get it! This is the only uh, time you get the to dub. choose dialogue, and it the doesn't dub, even matter man. what you pick. It changes that nothing, and Makarov agrees with whatever you say. The prisoners. Yes, Andre. That's why the guards need guns. To shoot them. Had me thinking this might have branching paths like Cold nope. War and Black Ops 2. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't believe this, man. And people didn't... I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure Black Ops wasn't like the best received COD either. It was just okay. Like COD um zombies, like the fucking Black Ops zombies was actually good, but everything else was kind of mid. <laughs> At least from what nice I remember. Prank, sledgehammer. So Makarov escapes. We cut the price and the rest of Task Force 141. Makarov is out. Say it again, Lesro. Is yeah, out. zombies was fun. This causes Price to panic, and he aborts the mission. Abort. Yeah, it was all right, but it wasn't the best. Wait, what mission? Uh, why are you guys here? Oh, I don't know. I just needed something cool to say. Okay, uh, here's a lesson in avoiding basic screenwriting fuck-ups. You need to let the audience know what's at stake if we're going to care. The purpose of this scene is to show Makarov as a man that scares Price. Whatever they don't want to show and tell. It's too much effort, man. No, did you know that they never ask us Russia, Belarus, and Ukrainian actors for Slavic girls? It's like they do this on purpose for no reason. I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it's dumb that voice actors like you have like you you just speak Russian without like a horrid accent. I wouldn't even want a perfect one. You don't have to be like completely fluent but it's just it takes away from like it doesn't even sound authentic i don't know it's hard to explain unless you like speak russian where he's up to stopping him is a top priority but since yeah, we it's don't all know tell, what don't mission show. they're abandoning because it costs too much money what's at stake or what's being sacrificed mm. maybe they're just canceling dinner reservations at the cheesecake factory makarov is out he's on the move john macaroni looks like dessert's gonna have to wait and the scene <laughs> fails to do the one thing it's meant to create drama and fear around our antagonist anyways we abruptly cut to far and alex who are on their own mission and Wait. You. It's you, man. Who are you? You're supposed to be dead. Am I not? Didn't you die <laughs> in a fiery explosion that was manually detonated? What the fuck? I survived, oh, man. Oh, Philip Graves is back too. <laughs> what? The, the bad guy of the last game is he's just back? Wait, what? Get this. And this I makes no sense. Scene from season three of COD 2019. Alex is revealed to have survived. Alex, thought you were dead. Still standing. Somehow. I'm still standing. I, it's such bad writing. Why even make like a franchise centered around like, you know, war, death, people dying when they just bring him back because they need to? Like, it's, it's a fucking war. Like, it's not f fucking World of Warcraft where you can be like, yeah, you know, we brought back this character because, you know, they're very important and we thought it would be justifiable. It kind of like reminds me of how they ruined Garrosh, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> yeah, plot armor. Write <laughs> some new NPC to be the villain? Probably uh, too much effort and would require too much thinking. His legs gone? <laughs> wait, 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 really? Does it actually like his legs gone? <laughs> How Palpatine returned. And in the season five cutscene of MW2, the same thing happens with Graves. Heard you died in a tank in South America. Uh. Well, I wasn't in that tank. Somehow Palpatine returned. What the uh, fuck is this sloppy, uh, shitty writing? How do you kill off two characters and then write them both back into the series in the exact. <laughs> You're right! He doesn't have a leg! <laughs> You're still standing! Yo, that's gotta be like intentional now. Act same way. Hey, I thought you died. Nope. Nope. Well, I wasn't in that tank. I 
That's all, folks. <laughs> this trilogy has been grounding itself in realism, and now it's turned into a fucking sitcom where everything goes back to normal at the end, and death has no meaning. And I further decree that everything will be just like it was before all this happened. <laughs> and no one will ever mention it again. But don't worry, True. folks. When Task Force 141 recovers all seven Dragon Balls, they can wish Captain Krillin back to this dimension. Also, oh my this doesn't God, explain man. why Far and Alex are working with Graves. He shows up, and then Far and Alex are just like, "Oh, what's up, Graves? What's Wanna up, work dude? Together? How's it going? Nothing you happened." To walk past our security guards, but uh, please That's take crazy. a look at our highly confidential battle plans, and we can just forget about that time that you betrayed our friends, tried to kill them, and then you murdered 300 civilians. All is forgiven. I'm sure you. It's a. It, it, it reminds me of if if it like became like Attack on Titan. It's like, oh, Aaron, it's okay that you killed all these people. You're still our friend. It's like that. That's the attitude, you know. Was that really not explained? Apparently not. Yeah, Armin, you're still our friend. Where? But, 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 but you're our friend, so, yeah, like, He just yeah. became a mass murderer for our sake. So at this point, the story is foobar, but maybe it might still be fun to play. <laughs> God, I'm so funny. It's Google not spoilers. Start Guys, that's not spoilers. It's fine. It's not spoilers was made from the Verdansk prison. He did kill was people. made from the original Gulag level in MW2. Arklov military base, the stadium, Gora Dam. All these areas are blatantly recycled from Warzone. Oh, dude, this is a fucking part of the campaign right here. The, yeah, this is the fucking... Oh, yeah, that's the one where you're like, where you're playing Price and he's getting gassed. Even the worst Call of Duty campaigns always that's... built original, even if that <gasps> originality was horrifying. There. You're messing with my mind. What about what's going on in that pinhead of yours? Like they used to make maps and copy areas from the campaign into multiplayer spec ops and zombies. All right. Not the other way around. Yeah. So guess what happens? It's a domino effect. Now the campaign designers are fucked because they have to write a compelling story and try. And then the other thing too, if they're imagine if they're copy pasting it, what kind of bugs you're getting? like in terms of development if they're reusing and recycling assets like that imagine that as well if you're copy pasting from another game to another game and then pasting into a new engine try to create dynamic missions in areas that were designed for a battle royale not single battle player royale. what's the result we call them open combat missions it's the biggest <laughs> piece of dog shit i'll admit it's an idea that could have worked Cod rarely dabbles in non-linear levels, and when they do, it's usually the highlight of the campaign. But these are clearly a result of rush development. They're meant to pad out the runtime in a campaign that somehow manages $70, to be the, the way, $70. Be the shortest in franchise history. Six of the 14 missions are open combat. Even when 40% uh... of the campaign is filler, they can barely make this crap more than four hours long. Four hours? I thought it was like 12, man. Oh no, Cod Sisters. I don't feel so good, man. Yearly releases are barely possible anymore. No, they told them they would stop and then they were like, yeah, fuck you, I lied. <laughs> and it's garbage. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> From the previous video, I was wondering when it was only like 30 minutes long. The objectives are always super exciting. Things like hack three cell phones, Defuse three bombs, push three buttons, stick oh, three like fingers a, in your ass. It's like World of Warcraft, but con. Pick, pick up three things and bring them back to me, please. And the storytelling in these missions in a con is on game, par with by the way. Ops. It's just people talking over a radio. Anyways, a friend of Farah is introduced, and then, oh, oh <laughs> no! Uh oh. I love you so much, Mom. I hope you never get shot. <laughs> We're supposed to put GPS trackers on some missiles. So missiles. we do. Missiles. And then we just let the terrorists take them. 
have fun killing innocent civilians and blaming it on me why are we this putting is... trackers on missiles instead of stopping the terrorists from taking them because Shouldn't that would be, be smart a sequence where alex and farah are under heavy fire and they have to retreat so they settle for tracking the missiles instead of stopping the terrorists and our heroes barely escape with their lives i suppose the they missiles. could have shown alex and farah retreating in a this was a scene, bad dlc we don't even get that this this is not even a dlc man how like, oh my god, my eye's switching because I'm like watching this garbage. <laughs> it's fucking irritating me. <laughs> That's a terrible spot for a tracker. Yeah, it's not even on the inside. That's actually a good point. Wow, Icy Spicy, are you a writer for COD or something? It's not, but at the same time it is. Yeah. Why tell a story? I think I actually really, really hate it when games talk to you like through the radio tracker thing because i'm busy doing other shit and there's like a voice talking in my head and i don't like that it annoys the fuck out of me so our heroes end up looking like apathetic assholes that just give up they don't even chase the trucks or leave the area because in the next scene they're mourning the death of that lady who had 30 seconds of screen time shouldn't this place be swarming with terrorists no nope. they're always all told gone stories through amazing set pieces gameplay and heavily scripted sequences when you take that out of the equation it completely falls apart so makarov assembles his team of cronies crazy you take the you take the world you take the warcraft out of world of warcraft and you take the the, the i don't know like the, the like i don't know one of warfare out of call of duty like it just it's sad it's sad i mean conies but back at the gulag, poor Ivan suggested they wait in the elevator. How dare you take five seconds to consider whether it's a good idea to rush into open gunfire. A Not duty on my watch. Call of duty. The Damn. Well, who didn't see that coming? I think Damn. this scene is meant to be an allegory for the working conditions at Sledgehammer. <laughs> but like, really, really, dude, this is the best you can come bing, up bing, with bing. to make Makarov look like a bad guy? It's yeah, he shot one of his uh one of his advisors. Damn, he's so evil. It's not like we've seen another dozen people die before that. Yeah, call of booty, more like call of doo doo. The oh, most man. cliche thing possible. The first time we see him in MW, remember he no up a Russian airport. Talk about making an entrance. <laughs> Since we know Modern Warfare Three is recycling most of its ideas. <laughs> Where do you think the plot is headed? The they're going for the missiles. The missiles. Classic. The missiles. It's always about the missiles, man. Where the fucking missiles? Where the fucking missiles? missiles? We're not recycling the plot from the last game, are we? No, oh, no. We are. It's not about finding the missiles again. I already did that. They wouldn't shut up about it. Where are the missiles? Tony's got their own missiles. No it's missiles. fucking Price, man. He's always talking about the missiles. We're copying Iron Man, people, all right? Shepard is going to be the one selling U.S. weapons under the table. Where were the missiles, Coco? Oh, she doesn't, oh. she doesn't know where the missiles are. Oh, 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 oh. For those that don't know, Coco passed away. Oh. A little baby dog. Oh. <laughs> he put him in the video. Oh, I'm going to cry. Oh. A little tribute to Coco. Poor baby. Happy baby. Happy doggy. Rest in peace. Where did he go? Sound of a missile or in Chicago. <laughs> They're straight up copying the plot from last year. <laughs> Shepard sends ballistic missiles to the Middle East. They get stolen. Bad guy puts the flag of another nation on the missiles to frame them. My missiles. Missiles. My flags, my country. My missiles. Same shit, different game. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Oh, it's crazy. In the third level, we need to destroy three helicopters. Then the Coney group releases deadly gas and... Uh-oh. Oh, it's my farts. It in. Cap Stay with us, son! Ah! Oh, shit, now I'm kind of worried. I really hope nothing bad happens to- Yep, he's totally fine. Psych! This was another classic script writing fuck up. Chekhov's gun. If Price inhaling the gas doesn't change or add anything to the story, then Fart why missiles. does he breathe it in? But normally after a scene like this, the perspective would change to another character and leave you wondering if Captain Price is gonna be okay. I remember this strategy working really well in Halo 2. 
It's such a lazy attempt at creating tension, but ironically, it does the opposite. The characters are acting like Makarov obtaining the sarin gas is a big deal. The fuck is in that gas? Remnants of Barkov's program. Sarin. Highly concentrated. What the fuck is what, Barkov's program? Why can't you just. Ugh, this fucking writing is already driving me Try nuts. Him. Far more lethal. What are you talking about? You beat the yeah. gas, you still need some time to recover. Price wakes up 10 seconds later and is immediately back on the field in perfect oh, he's health. Fine. It's such a narratively confusing part. You know, in a story, if you want to do the, oh God, is this character going to die thing, you tend to stretch that out mm -hmm. a little bit. You stretch the question. The way it's cut feels like That's there was supposed wicky. to be an entire mission between these two moments. He blacks out, you go do some other campaign mission somewhere else, and then he comes mm -hmm. to the next cut scene because you have to it's stretch so... that emotional Ugh. uncertainty but he's just up immediately hey makarov you want real lethal gas go eat taco bell <laughs> man these jokes are terrible <laughs> mr Agman, you gotta stop <laughs> these dad jokes are done you gotta love how these pre-mission briefings now look like everyone's chilling in a discord call sending jpegs to each other dude if this was my discord server you guys would all be banned for spamming the same fucking image of Makarov a hundred <laughs> times. Go join the Discord. It's a, it's a Ben Shapiro, by the way. It's a Ben Shapiro knockoff from AI generated. Yeah. Server link in the description. They have used the same image of shirtless Makarov like 40 Hot. times. They keep using it every time he's mentioned in the briefings. It's, it's like so a you running know. joke. I it's need so you to know, know how many is. times it's utilized. One Makarov. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Makarov. ten. Price and Farah meet up to. F Damn. You know, if you got the hots for macaroni. Maybe they should make like a spin-off sequel. Shirtless macaroni. <laughs> Call of Duty macaroni warfare. Find those gosh darn <laughs> missiles. But then the dumbest thing ever happens. Far tells Price her missiles were stolen by Makarov. And that those missiles were given to her by Shadow Company. Why was he shirtless? Company, I don't know. Who's working with. <laughs> Who sent you the missile? They don't tell you. Shadow Company. What? 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 Price is surprised by this, as am I, because apparently nobody told Farah what happened with Graves and Shepard. Of course they didn't tell her, because we don't even know what happened to him, man. Didn't come up once in these Discord calls or during dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. Shadow Company don't have that kind of firepower. They're errand boys with tack vests. They're allies. They're allies. They're allies. What? the fuck does yeah. that mean then although price <laughs> explicitly tells her that what graves Shepherd, and shadow company tried to murder him and his men far does this even make so much price sense guys are you following this alive. or is it just me they carried out a hit on my men commander graves did this yeah well he had his orders yeah from who? general Shepard. missiles he brought out missiles again did Shepard send you those missiles my weapons are my business. What? 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 She doesn't give a shit. Friendship Whoa, that was over. Uh... He's a very dangerous man, Farah. We are all dangerous, Captain. Shut up! Dude, this writing is so bad. I want to rip my fucking ears out, man. That was terrible. What the fuck do you mean? We're all dangerous. Okay? What else? <laughs> hey, can you stop talking like a Marvel character for two seconds and tell me if you're working with the people who tried to kill me? I never want to lie to you, but I can't tell you everything. What you call classified, I call secrets. Can you That's what fucking classified means! It's a secret, you ding dong! Bro, these writers are fucking smoking something and I want some. You shut the fuck up. All right, here's the <laughs> deal, Fara. You're dropping the shittiest one-liners and it's pissing me off. You say, Well, then let's help each other. Yet you refuse to answer my questions and share information that would help share, us both man. achieve our goals. I have every reason to believe you are now working with my would-be assassins and protecting them by not telling me. The mm -hmm. writers probably didn't realize this would make you a villain in the story, but luckily for you, Farah, they made me, Captain Price, a fucking idiot. So I can't piece any of this together. <laughs> like always, I hope you trust me. Implicitly. Good. Yo, is Implicitly, this... bro! <laughs>
You trust this bitch after she's like, ah, uh, these are my secrets. I can't tell you. I don't know if uh, I can't tell you if I blew up. Oh, just uh, who, who blew up who? You killed my friends. Yeah, why would you trust her? Like, why? This writing is ass. Price is just a simp for fire. Yeah, implicitly, implicitly, exquisite. This person fucking retarded. Yes. See you on the other side. Shoot them, Farah. Let's go get those missions. <laughs> Four missions in, and we have three deadly screenwriting sins. This time, idiot plot. Farah has no reason to withhold this information. She only does Acting it because dumb for the some writers coochie. didn't know True. how to force drama into the scene where it. there would otherwise be none. Maybe Farah could have led Price to Graves, who could then lead them to Shepard, mm. a guy whose missiles keep coincidentally falling missiles. into the I'm hands of terrorists. And although Price and Farah are we? supposed yeah, to be you together guys in too. this mission, she disappears at the start. The one thing you'll notice is that all the open world missions have you playing alone because the devs were unable to program friendly AI in these maps. Yeah, see, that was something I noticed. You're like there with three or four guys. It looks like you all airdrop down there and then it's just you. Feels kind of lame. As I think you were almost always accompanied, like unless the story shifted in other uh, campaigns. Like Modern Warfare 2, I'm pretty sure there was almost always a companion with you. Like, like obviously, sometimes the campaign, the uh, the companions would go somewhere else and do something else, and they would talk to you, maybe like in the distance. But like they they existed, almost always. Yes, yeah, I'm not crazy, huh? Last one we infiltrate yeah. a base to meet an informant. This level is just I don't know, walking. It's, it, it just sucks. breaks the immersion. What? 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 Oh, what? sprinting will attract unwanted attention. <laughs> oh, you're not allowed to run! Bang, 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 bang! Chat, no running. Only fatties allowed in my missions. Only walking. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's running! <laughs> Out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> they will shoot you for any reason in this. <laughs> oh my fucking god, this what is so What if you gotta so take dumb. a shit, you gotta hold they, it they in. They look at me, they see I'm a woman, and they're like, Gunner down. Oh, thank Damn. God. It's Yuri. Please save this campaign. Give us some info that makes the plot interesting. Uh, oh, a thumb drive. Well, okay. What's on it? Makarov's nudes? Did you get <gasps> access to his OnlyFans? Oh, shit. That's gross. So that's last... not gross. That's hard. Give it to me right now. She will risk her life coming to this base to get intel. It That's the entire premise of the plot. Except his no, nudes. Because we never find out what the Calm intel down, is, fan. And I'm it's kidding. Never brought up I'm again. kidding. So this entire I don't want level macro nudes. You probably gave you. And it would change nothing. The only reason this level exists is to pointlessly shoehorn Yuri into the game in a desperate attempt at fan service. It ends up being what? a disgrace to the character. But if there's one Wait, level there's you fan can't service in COD? It, Since when? Bro. It's no Russian. Uh, I hope I don't die tragically on this flight. So Makarov escaped from the gulag and he killed like 200 guards in the process. Coincidentally, uh. there have been three terrorist attacks within 72 hours of his escape. And although logically this should make him the most wanted man on the planet with his face plastered everywhere, okay. he's able to casually walk through airport security without any problems. He even manages to sneak in like six guns, body armor, and a, a bomb. You know, it's just that easy, boys, man. It's just that easy. This guy post <laughs> 11 man. No, man. This could be before. <laughs> yeah, pre 9 11, bro. Maybe a task force this writing. Would share that picture of yeah, just some they body armor. Guns. The Russian authorities would have caught him at the airport and ended this story as well as my suffering. Makarov is supposed to be a criminal mastermind who obsessively plans his attacks, accounting for every yeah, possible Yeah, Makarov was kind of a badass in like a villain this way. This didn't even wear a fake mustache. Basic logic is absent from every scene and it is driving me insane. Like this one, where Makarov and his men attempt to hijack the plane, but instead of a coordinated hijacking where everyone springs into action- Bro, why are he staring at me like that? Am I weird? I've never talked to a person who stared at me like that. <laughs> wait, wait, did say I think someone made that joke already in the last video that looked like a fucking scuffed Mudahar. <laughs>
<laughs> a lot of get you a man of stairs. Are you like that? Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> Look at him staring at me, man. All at once. With like Riz. That one time. This idiot sitting next to us puts a gun in our face, stands up, and then starts looking around for no reason. Kind of looks like me. <laughs> Oh man, it kind of looks like me. <laughs> oh my yes. god, that's no. Luda, no! Don't hijack the play! It's horrible, man. Yo, thank you, Achura. Thank you for the sub, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? We're both playing the block. smaller a little bit too bro how did i not notice this before no someone made that joke like last video the last one that act men released but the <laughs> this freeze frame is so good man i'm fucking dying they're gonna sue the producer <laughs> get a little piece of pie man I made the joke last time. I think, yeah, I think so. And everybody laughed in my chat. I remember this now. <laughs> With Riz, hey. <laughs> look at this eye, bro. And the fucking eyes, dude. What? Wait a minute. He does look like Mudahar. <laughs> Why, yes, Mudahar. I would love to shoot Makarov's men. Thank you for allowing me oh to take Lord. your gun. At this point, we're playing as Samara, a former ULF freedom fighter. And because she's supposed to be vaguely Middle Eastern, the funniest oh, I thing can't ever breathe. Happened. This hurts. No! You look like me. <laughs> Are you a thief? No. You look like one. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you a fox? No. We sure look like one. What the fuck? Yo, Aries, thank you. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. Thank you. You smell like one? Wow. Okay. You're oh, you're you're being boy. ultra animalist right now. Ooh, oh, give the riders a raise. So the plane explodes and everyone dies. Far and Alex go to the crash <laughs> site. To get you look like to one? Yeah, how could you tell? Group, the ULF did not commit the attack. We need to find out what happened on the, the missiles. Plane. Show the world it wasn't us. I won't have them call us terrorists. Not again. <laughs> So we hack three <laughs> phones and destroy the evidence. Some people will believe the UN. Oh, we got a bomb on the plane. Thanks, to bro. They magically materialized the bomb on the plane using using fantasy tropes, man. We we just we lost the plot a long time ago. Okay, we're gonna ignore it. You, no one can prove it. I mean, it's pretty obvious who did it, but glad I could help. One four one meets up with Laswell and they start going over footage from the airport. No one stopped him. Walk in the bloody park. Yes, <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, right? wow, the crazy. Makes no sense. Foreign Alex, what they get? Not enough to prove anything. Okay. What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What did you just say two minutes ago? Some people will believe the ULF was responsible. Oh. Thanks to you, no one can prove it. Foreign Alex, what they get? What the fuck? Not enough to prove anything. What? Thanks to you. No one can prove it. What? Not enough to prove anything. No one can prove the ULF was responsible. You just said the evidence doesn't support that. Hmm. Who else could have blown this plane up? Could it be the Me! known terrorist that recently escaped In from prison a few days ago? The same person who was captured on surveillance footage boarding the plane that later exploded? I don't know, man. Macaroni! Could it have been that guy? No. They also have audio never. His name is Macaroni. And footage from the cabin, and yet nobody can use this evidence to show the world Makarov is behind. And it's weird because they all have like iPhones and stuff with like nice cameras and shit. I could understand maybe like a shitty Nokia from fucking 2002. Uh, just 
I don't know, man. It, it's, it's so hard to believe that. And again, poor writing. Crazy. Yo, thank you, Gordo. What's up? I miss our heroes are all fucking idiots. Of course they are. Right in our fucking hands. It's so... You should kill me right now. Flashback to four years no! ago. Makarov has bombed the stadium because we needed to reuse another area from Warzone. Eventually, we encounter an ambulance and there's oh a boy. standoff. Turns out Makarov is inside. And while he could have seen the two guys with guns right it in front of macaroni. him and just reversed the way he came, Makarov recklessly decides to floor it, crashing the ambulance and getting his stupid ass captured. <laughs> Why are you hitting? What a plot twist. <laughs> they didn't even shoot down the car. He just crashed on his own. Damn, boy. Back into the stadium. You already blew it up, so why aren't you trying to escape? Our antagonist is a fucking idiot. Of course again, he is. This is where his Call name is Macaroni. Over-the-top, action-packed chase sequence that's, that's right. so awesome, you remember it for another decade. <laughs> yeah, this was awesome. No, Jason, no. Oh, shit. Right. But oh my god! Get something way more exciting. Fucking move! Oh my god! I you love role playing. Friends that you're hanging out with, and he's like walking in front of you, and then he just stops. And you just want to shove him right in his butt. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in luck. I believe in planning. You're right, Makarov. We only captured you because your plan to floor it was stupid. And because Soap and Price are fucking idiots too, they don't kill Makarov here and now because... We have him. He's in custody. He's not going anywhere. Okay. You're all dumber than you look. That's what I'm saying. This is what I hate <laughs> most about this story. Nobody is outsmarting or outplaying each other. One side of this conflict only gains the upper hand when the other side does something even stupider. We cut back to real time and Shepard calls Laswell via Discord. The writers treat this scene like it's the first time we've seen Graves since his supposed death. Wrong again, boys. Oh my God, it's Graves! I, I know, the story sucks ass. The hero's surprise should mirror our own, but they already revealed Graves was alive in the most yeah, nonchalant way possible. And they didn't even explain how he lived, which is the best part. And they, I don't think they ever will. Did somebody screw up and put this cutscene in the wrong place? Now, why is Shepard working with us to take down Makarov? I'm not going out like this. I want my name on a win. Well, it's a little late for that, dog. Did you forget when you ordered Graves to kill all those civilians? <laughs> what did, did he include to catch a predator? Fucking footage, <laughs> man, man, that's 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 harsh. No, you know what? No, that's not harsh. It's funny. That's it's funny. I take did. it back. So we go to find Makarov's <laughs> finance this game. to give her an audit. This is your personal account, huh? Yes, Melinda, it seems you owe some money and back taxes, and I thought we could go over your expenses for last year. I remember when Price and Gaz took the gloves off to interrogate that fucking asshole, and they almost shot his family in front of him? You want the gloves off? They're off. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. This is your personal. Okay, huh? Soap says they're gonna take Makarov's money, and she's like, you're not very good at this. You're stealing from Makarov's future, not mine. Okay, well, I'm gonna all steal right. all your money. Don't, don't you fucking bitch. Fuck you. That account is my money. Oh, I fought no, for it. I my money. Was good at dead without my money. I need my money. I need my Sounds money. Like so, anyways, Makarov is transporting money. something to a prison. My money. Turns out it's Shepard. What? My money. Huh? When did he get captured? How? Like Where my was money. Grace? Do we ever find out? No. God damn it, hold on. Weren't you just submerged in freezing water? Why aren't you shivering? How come you show no signs they're, of They're superhuman. They don't feel anything but the pain of losing money. Hypothermia throughout this entire mission. Well, Price, it's because. Diarrhea. $70, please. <laughs> Yeah, nano machines in the blood. I remember how all this started because you didn't kill Makarov when you had the. Ah, oh, screw it. Why do we have to fight our way to an evac route if we plan? Why not, man? Why not? We knew exactly where they would be. Why don't we Why go to the moon while we're at it? Pick us up right <clears throat> here. So then Sledgehammer throws in a random AC-130 mission for no reason. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, look at those pixels. I pointed this out earlier. This literally looks like something from a PS1 game. Wow, you are not supposed to look up. 
Oh God! Don't look up. That is oof. That is rough. Why didn't they? Why didn't they, why didn't they finish the background? Can we not come up with new set pieces anymore? Are we so desperate for ideas we have to keep recycling this too? You could really tell they had to squirt this game out faster than my explosive diarrhea because I don't even think they had time to make a soundtrack. Anytime there's a moment where you might feel something, crickets. Yeah, you know, it's like, like, where's the music? You know, it, it, if it looks boring, Con I think music it's just was always pretty badass really from what I remember. Miller, pass the ox cord. <laughs> It was a little bit loud. Turn it down a little bit. Ooh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's like you're playing. It's like you're sitting in an office and like doing this as a job. Like, why not include a little soundtrack? Still no music. Yeah, you're right. It's bizarrely quiet. And this is World at War, by the way. World at War. There's not supposed to be music while you're, like, you know, at war. Still no music? Yeah, the music guys really, really... They didn't get paid. I mean, granted, dubstep, but still. You know, it's something. Like, it's something. I've heard elevator music more intense than this soundtrack, dude. Yo, 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 wait, this is awesome! Oh, yeah! I take it back. Oh Black House God, was pretty... Just... Like, it's, it was better than this. <laughs> it was better! Yeah, the soundtrack is so good! 1941. A date which will live in infamy. Nah, I like this. This is fun. Bro, it's like we're watching a fucking Marvel movie, man. <laughs> Why are we quiet? Why is it there's some endearing music about your friend dying or whatever? Like, the guy died! Play something! Like, some sad piano music? Maybe some strings? I don't know, man. No! This is the one I played the most. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, we have to leave him behind! No, 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 he's dying! <laughs> what little music he's gonna fucking blow me up! Forgettable. But if you listen carefully at the end of matches, you can hear the faintest whisper of the militia theme. I'm squinting, I can't. Roach and ghost. Oh, this fucking music, man. Ah. Oh. Take no prisoners, comrades. Oh, it's so it good, man. Up the last breath of creativity and identity this series once had. <laughs> oh, you want good music? Oh, by the Hans Zimmer pack for fifteen dollars. So that's now a paid feature. Dickhead. Sorry. So we shoot up. down Makarov's helicopter with a Predator missile. Like they could have they just put like the any music when you're shooting shit in a night vision like missile this <laughs> is in a blaze of health like what are you Team doing man confirm the kill but then shepherd says we yeah hans like is really good deal, Macro. your orders are to stand down we got nothing but fire and brimstone out there and that's all the confirmation we need you want to go out on a win right but you're telling me to <laughs> not look around for his body our secondary antagonist is a fucking idiot it's over john of we course he's an idiot he's written written by yeah, that's Activision. A a shadow grave yeah yes Yes, exactly. Makarov's gonna reappear and be like, "No, nah, I wasn't in that helicopter price." <laughs> but instead of doing the most common sense thing and taking 20 minutes to search the area, our heroes are content to wait for Makarov to show himself by committing another war crime. <laughs> and you know what? This story makes me want to commit a few war crimes of my own. Now we're in the courtroom <laughs> because the writers have to resolve conflict in the most boring settings possible. Despite having all the evidence that Makarov and not the ULF is behind these terrorist attacks, they need to this shepherd plot their is making so me fall could... asleep. This is way more detailed than the other video, and I was already having a hard time following the other plot that he was talking about. This is in detail. I am having like in between the funny haha -ha memes. Holy fuck, man. 
testify I'm nobody about fall it. asleep during this shit. This, this shit. scene serves no purpose. Neither Graves or Shepard face any punishment from the law. They aren't even locked up in jail. Ugh, Sometime later, snoozeville. Laswell gets word that surprise. Well, everybody was just playing with you. No, well, might be well uh, yes and no. Uh, he did have some moments where he was just laughing at the cinematics and shit. But yeah, he also did a comparison between the actual game and then the game before that. Around London. Are you ready to see the best thing in this campaign? Oh, right. Trick off, wow. Mello. A reference to COD Ghost. Trick off. The best part of Modern Daddy! Warfare 3. He's kind of low poly, no? Guys, am I crazy? <laughs> Mallow, we're watching a Modern Warfare <laughs> video. Campaign is the new dog model. A fucking meme. That is a new, new dog, dog model right there. That's a fucking new dog, dog model, bro. Oh if you my thought God, the torture was over, though, Sledgehammer no has dog. one more card to play. The gang goes into an underground railroad because Makarov's gonna blow up a Macaroni. train or something. We find our way to where the bomb is and secure the area. Price and Soap work to defuse it. And then... <gasps> no! Shoots him in the head. Oh no, he's dead. Bro. Fuck you. This <laughs> campaign fucking sucks. Why do you care so much, Act Man? Start talking about the multiplayer. Can't you see that matters more than some meaningless campaign? <laughs> meaningless, huh? Oh. What do you know of meaningless? Ah. Yes, I thought he got blown up. No, he got shot in the head. He did so dirty in this one. But if yeah, you know you don't him. have time to write a proper send off for a fan favorite character, don't kill off the fan favorite character. Have this be a campaign where butt fuck happens. Nobody gets killed off, and we can just sweep it under the rug. COD 2019 was a breath of fresh air, a worthy they remake them of again. COD 4 on a flashy new engine. <laughs> it reintroduced classic characters, but remade them and the plot. So it felt like a fresh take. The MW2 remake may have had a weaker story, but it made up for that by emphasizing. Don't worry, guys. They're just gonna bring them back up again. <laughs> the characters, their development, relationships. It gave them depth. Modern Warfare 3 throws all of that in the garbage in a way that Ryan Johnson can only dream of. It makes you feel stupid for caring about any of this in the first place. Sad, the original dude. MW3 has the most satisfying ending in the series. The remake has the exact opposite. This is cheap shock value bullshit. Makarov literally comes out from behind a corner and shoots him like it's straight out of a Monty Python skit. Like they could have just had like a fucking standoff or something and then he's like, ha ha, now I'm gonna kill you. And then he shoots him. He literally shot him. Like the camera's like moving from side to side. Your character's fucking bloody and there's like blood on the face and everything. It's so yes. dumb, man. Shit, no! I'm shot! Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Then there's the choreography. Yep, that's it. So Soap and Price get shot. Then Makarov stands there and monologues about it for 10 seconds, allowing Soap time to get up and stab him. But there's like six guys with machine guns behind him? <laughs> Why didn't they <laughs> shoot Soap? That. And then Soap just stands there with one hand Bro. completely free. And let's Makarov shoot him again. What the fuck were Gaz and Ghost doing off screen? <laughs> soaking each other's cocks? Yes. Ghost even knows Kinda Makarov hot. is here. <laughs> That's the fan the service that everybody really wanted. The area is completely secured until Makarov shows up. So Gaz and Ghost just watched Soap die. I wouldn't want shitty friends like that at my funeral. Rest and then in Makarov peace, gets man. Away. Again. Not due to some clever plan, but because our heroes are worthless. Bang, bang, Don't bang, worry, bang, folks. Bang, bang. Once season three for Warzone comes out, they're gonna retcon this shitty ending. Soap's gonna reappear and be like, "Actually, my brain wasn't in my skull." <laughs> Actually, I wasn't in that tank. Actually, um, it was a double, and I magically switched it through a portal that was from COD. Oh, just it's so stupid, man. Just so lazy, man. Must have so his lazy. Throughout his entire nervous system. He was the best of us. <laughs> <laughs> the toughest. Yeah, Naruto shoots him. Before the world barehanded. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Yes. The wise price yes, perfectly shit. fine. Didn't you just get shot, you asshole? I think I've made my point, but let's compare this scene to the original. It's a very emotional oh sequence. Oh my god. Macaron we wa we watched the actual one like like 
the full one and it was so I don't know the graphics are a little bit dated but it's just so like it was emotional and it was nice and, like how he was like I like he was hovering over him over his dead body and like actually giving him a send off these guys literally just say yeah he was the best yeah he was a good guy yeah we could have we could have saved him but you know he he, he was pretty great plays a trap that catches yeah, yuri and so by surprise yeah he left him his favorite gun yeah that's right yeah look at that soap is the only one who heard makarov refer to yuri as my friend up until this point, the player doesn't know much about Yuri and assumes mm -hmm. he's not that important. Then you have to escort Soap to safety in a sequence that the longer it goes, the less chance he has of surviving. No. It feels like a real battlefield yeah, we, we with the tangible thing. stakes. The main character's life hangs in the balance. Yep. When Soap finally the is table. out of harm's way, our relief is short-lived. No. Come oh, on, Just race. Get a medic! Get a medic! But his last words no. ignite a mystery. And then it, like that's emotional, man. His fucking comrade died again. I am just reiterating what I saw in the other video, but it's just like he's shaking the corpse. He's like, I. You can't be serious. The music, yeah, the music's really like. Maybe you can hear this, but like it hits you right in the meow, you know. This revelation changes everything in a twist similar to Bioshock's, where we learn the character we've been playing as isn't a mere bystander. Yeah. He's been instrumental in all the events leading to this point. So trusted you. So trusted you. So why in bloody hell right in does the meow. know you? Yuri's flashbacks tie all it's the just emotional. Plot together. That's nice. Soap's death feels more important than us witnessing the destruction of the Eiffel Tower. Holy crap. It's symbolic and a fitting end to the protagonist of the trilogy because we, as Price, get to avenge his death before the game ends. There's so many things happening mm, yeah, around him after now. Soap's death. What's God, happening it's been here? It's 10 years, well, man. I'll tell you. Absolutely fucking nothing. You know what? Maybe Based. Treyarch was onto something with Black Ops 4. Maybe they knew. It's better to make no campaign than to torture your fans with a shitty one. As a final kick in the balls, there's a mid credit scene where Price shows up inside Shepard's office. <laughs> we don't even get to kill Shepard ourselves. Oh, I am not gonna beg for my life. Wouldn't do you any good. <laughs> am I supposed to feel something? Am I supposed to feel anything? Well, you know why this is worse than Vanguard? That game was goofy. Like they got red dot sights in a World War II game. It's a joke, but it's a right. joke we can all point and laugh at. It didn't matter if the characters sucked because they didn't have any emotional equity, history, or connection with this franchise or its fans. Modern Warfare 3, on the other hand, is meant to cap off the third remake of a beloved trilogy. Uh... But they fucked it up so bad, it's irredeemable. That's why this is the worst COD campaign. Modern Warfare 3's campaign utterly fails at everything it tries to do. Halo 5 was better than this. <gasps> Chat, be honest. Better than Halo, f I mean, Halo 5 better than that? That's harsh. He might, he might have a point. I don't know. Yeah, no, like at least Halo 5 had some fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> they paid their sound guy something. <laughs> oh, man. Halo 5 was really bad. Yeah, but this is really, really, really bad. I don't know, man. That's a hard press, man. He speaks truth. All right, all right. I'm gonna watch a Halo 5 video. Guys, do you want me to kill your childhood again? I can do it. Well, let's clear our mind with a little zombies, right? We've run aground. God oh, damn yeah, it. The, the bugs. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh my God. We got it. Wow. Wow. There are those who said this day would never come. What the fuck is happening? What the f what in fucks? What the what fuck the is? And this is why remakes fucking suck. Unless you make everything from scratch. The zombies oh suck too, yeah, what, what a surprise. Fuck, 
Huh? Yo, are you okay. a... Okay, all right, all right. That's cool. He's fr the flying an airplane, man. The, the second something actually cool happens, it is just immediately cut short with fucking teleportation. I'll admit Hello. my takes on zombies over the years have been volcanic. And when it comes to war zone zombies, I... Well... Mama mia. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good this year. Uh, yeah, I think the great. phrase war zone zombies says it all. It sounds like a free Halloween event. And if it was just that, this wouldn't be half bad. But no, this is the new zombies mode. Part of that complete package. Modern Warfare 3 this $70. year is the dollars. What the fuck? Wait, this is zombies? Yes, $70, by the way. Mm-hmm. I'll never understand why my friends still like these games. My brother is a diehard Modern Warfare enjoyer. He played Call of Duty, um, World at War. He played uh, 1 and 2. He played Black Ops. He didn't like it as much, and neither did I, but it was still a pretty good game. But yes, this was $70, and he said this was absolute dog shit. <laughs> so yeah. Is it happening? What the fuck? Where is he? He's just fucking like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> He's what glitching the? out! <laughs> oh my god, this is giving me a seizure. This is the I remember. Yep, yep. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Just stay right there. <laughs> oh my right god, there. I actually can't Some look, man. Some fucking floating it's... priest having a seizure at a wall. I am having so much fun. This is a seizure. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy shit. They recycled Holy the objectives shit. and formula from DMZ and MW2. They copied the Urzikstan map from Warzone and then smushed it together with zombie types we saw in Vanguard, BO3, and Cold War. What the fuck? What is happening over here? Yo, look at, turn around. Is it not bugged out for you? There's like a whole lot of flame boxes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Your main goal is to complete arbitrary contracts and objectives what a year for of gaming? loot, to then yeah, lose the match and wrong. jump back into a new one. Not entirely sure where I'm supposed to have fun during this process. When you talk about our zombies, you're talking about really tense moments. So we want to maintain that. Yeah, this is really tense, you guys. Now this is riveting gameplay. Now get this. That's, that's zombies, a lot of, of zombies the right there. Is that you play with three people instead of four. Also, random players now appear in your zombies lobby? <laughs> what? You want to explain yourself? What? And for the first time in what? history, the developers or gatekeeping the amount of fun you can have with a time limit. Oh shit, oh shit, we have a time limit. We have to, we, we have a limited amount oh, of time. Run, 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 go, 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 stim, 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 sprint, 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 now, now, run, run, fast, fast, fast. I'll, I'll finish time, run. Run. Only a certain amount of allotted finish allowed. The gameplay and objectives aren't the problem. It's pretty satisfying shooting zombies. The issue is at least one third of my time is spent God, running around dude, doing it's nothing. literally a war zone oh, copy. copy. Out and it's stuck in the table and I can't pick it up, nice. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you like, Nobody pay attention to this shit! I that one. No, this wasted, I just, I, our, this wasted our time! We can't have as <laughs> much fun now! We only have 32 minutes of fun left! Fuck, 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 fuck. Where fuck, do we go? Where do we go? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! It's funny, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny! Oh shit, we've got a lot of points. Gonna go pack? But do you remember, we only have 17 minutes of a lot of fun left, so we've got to be quick. I know, I know. Instead of rounds that get progressively more challenging, we have three tiers. The goal is to exfil with gear good enough to trivialize the tier one area of the map so you don't have to waste your time there and can have fun fighting zombies that actually pose a threat. Sure. Oh, cool. We can enjoy that for our last few minutes of fun. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is this gun, by the way? It's like moving. It's making me nauseous. What is this gun skin? Did you see that? It was, was like moving. These zombies are dying one day. <laughs> you gotta be I sick. thought X filling in Cold War was cool because the strength of the zombies this is was terrible. based on the round. Oh my god. So it could get quite intense and you could X fill more or less whenever skin? you wanted. Bro. But now you have to run back to the tier one area and it's then- It's gonna punch me in the like face, it man. A, it forces it's moving. It's fucking nauseating. It I'm not kidding. I'm getting <laughs> sick looking at it, man. God, you used to follow a lot of fun though. Okay, now we just sit here and we, uh, we tab out until the Xbox bonus. Yeah, our fun is at an end. It is. I always thought Black Ops once set the gold standard for zombies content at launch, but these days they only launch zombies with one no, map, I have which means you get one chance to enjoy the mode. You either hate this map or you like it. If there was a round-based map oh on Lord, mode to satisfy dude. players like Look at me, that I fucking might be singing rendering, a different man. Easter egg song. But has Warzone become so invasive and overbearing to this franchise that even zombies must yield to it? It can't just be its own thing anymore? Why is it so hard to go back to the formula everyone agrees is the best? 
I get why some folks are defending Warzone zombies. I do. Because we're coming off of Vanguard. These are dark times. And people mm. are desperate for a W. No! You're just trying to confuse me. I won't listen to the ravens of a uh, uh, Yeah, I mean, I had the same opinion about Starfield, and there's always, like, a fanboy that's just like, Yeah, well, like, we had No Man's Sky, and I didn't like that a Starfield is a little bit better than No Man's Sky. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck do you mean is better? Like, maybe release to release is better, but damn. Did anyone Defending else notice that, that shit, Vanguard man. and MW3 both had to copy their zombies maps from someone else's homework? But as one trained in the force, you know that true coincidences are rare. Here's the thing. Zombies has always reused parts of the campaign and multiplayer That's in its fine. map design. But it did so in such a subtle way that you really had to pay attention to notice. But even like going back is like early like World of War. I mean, Nact was Airfield all up there from the campaign. Varuk was Asylum. Sheena Numa was Knee Deep. They were just like multiplayer maps that were like converted. But the thing is, they did it so well and like so yeah. tastefully. And yeah, I didn't so, even like, know that. So like in a manner. Yeah. yeah, see, there you go. Did, the fact did that, I mention there's also God The fact that you don't notice it is actually a plus. It means it was subtle enough that like maybe like a nerd like that guy that was rattling them off noticed but people like Ackman who just enjoyed the game for what it is doesn't and says a lot is with guns on the map what the fuck who the fuck's shooting me what the what, fuck is what, that what oh the there's guys the here with that? guns where what the fuck <laughs> what okay all right Not even zombies just regular soldiers they're using sentry turrets and counter uavs <laughs> they actually have a fucking counter uav <laughs> They're throwing grenades at me in a zombies mode. This is weird. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah, zombies with grenades? Guys with guns and in, in zombies. Oh, fun. I cannot stand that, dude. Keep that shit as far away from zombies as possible. That should not ever be in zombies. Dude, I what the fuck? The hardcore zombies fans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some of you might pretend this is what you want. But deep down, I suspect you resent it as oh much as I Lord. do. And you understand that, like Campaign, Zombies is special. And you can't just copy and paste and it onto a fucking it. Warzone map and call it a day. You crave a handmade- And Warzone maps are also fucking massive. Zombies isn't supposed to be like that. Where the fuck are there zombies? Curated I didn't see them shooting that zombies many zombies. Mode. Same as me. I was right. I am the same as you. Some fans Monica. claim MW3 has the best multiplayer in years. What do I think? <laughs> I think this should have been what it was intended to be. An expansion to the game we already had. Yep. Modern Warfare 3 does little to innovate the formula beyond locking improved movement mechanics behind a $70 price tag. Much I like how that. you had to buy Infinite Warfare to play the game you actually wanted, they tempt you with everything you've been asking for. But look, Actman, every classic Modern Warfare 2 map is here. That's your favorite color duty, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So this is a Modern Warfare 3 remake that doesn't remake any maps from Modern Warfare 3. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. And you don't see any issues with that. $70. I can go now. You were hoping to throw down on Dome, Mission, Arcaden, Resistance, Bootleg, Hard Hat. Well, your expectations are too high. I will give Sledgehammer some props. These are very faithful remakes, right down to the nitty gritty details. The maps are and always have been amazing. With a couple exceptions. They even mods oil them up. C can you oil them up really quick? Yeah, thank Included you. derail so you can feel nostalgic weird. when you vote to skip it. <laughs> Movement is now the main appeal and core personality of this game. Fans have been asking for this and it does dramatically change how these classic <laughs> maps are played. The movement opens up new paths of traversal, new flanking routes. Oh, fuck. Finding mantling and jumping are way That's faster worst, and smoother man. than ever before. I enjoy the longer time to kill, as players have the tools and a much better chance to turn the tables in a firefight if someone gets the jump on them. All this okay. movement tech creates new ways to outplay your opponent. And with a solid little bit of apex play, movement, yeah, I like that. I like Call that. Of Duty at its best. Here's the problem. The movement in Apex is actually really nice. Movement onto the old level design and expect it to work as intended unless your intention is to break the old level design. We saw this in Halo 5. They had to stretch out classic oh maps to accommodate sprint. And like with Vanguard, the hyper fast pace of the game removes a lot of tactical decisions. Come here, mister. So sorry. My bubby, I know. 
I know. I know. There's someone out there. Sorry, Ank Man. Sorry, my dog barking. You'd normally have to make. <laughs> he had Often enough of this game. Yeah, he's giving his opinion now. Block. Areas that were once designed as crucial choke points, <laughs> he's yeah, you can just slide game. through them now without a care in the world. On maps like High Rise, it is cool to mantle over walls you couldn't before, but this breaks the carefully constructed lanes. Yeah. MW3 is also incredibly sweaty. When I play with friends, though, that's when I run into people who, you know, drop shot me when I'm not even playing. There's what, so many like times, hackers? though, where an enemy and I sprint past each other. By the time we both realized we just saw an enemy, we're already 15 oh. feet apart. Now, there are some very important improvements to the game that I personally appreciate. Not every attachment reduces ADS time. Underbarrel grenade launchers and shotguns don't reduce it either. By some stroke of wizardry, noob tubes have been properly balanced for the first time ever. Sweaty tryhards? I, I noticed I that see. this guy fired a noob tube at me at almost the exact same time. And the fact that I can even see how close it was to killing me is actually pretty cool. That's they actually neat. I, I've never seen that before. That's cool. Awesome. <laughs> And I think I'm the only person that uses them. Also, I'm a fucking god with frag grenades. <laughs> a little brag One there, the okay? I respect it. Like I respect the hustle. Intervention. It is so satisfying. I like that. Or am I just high? Oh, look at that collateral. Apparently, Sledgehammer wanted to reintroduce the pick 10 system, and you can see remnants of that with this new vest option. I think many of the perks and field upgrades are a bit too niche, but hey, man, I'll take changes to this. Class customization, pretty good. Unfortunately, this is like the sixth year in a row they've launched a new con with the same game modes. No, I don't want to mm. play anything but hard point and domination. On a positive note, it looks like they're adding demolition back in for the first time since Black Ops 3. While the <gasps> customization is nice, the progression licks Bigfoot balls. So instead of unlocking all the perks, equipment, attachments, and weapons by, you know, leveling up, nah, you've got to complete daily challenges. Uh, oh, you mean this exact system that Halo Infinite has spent the last two years correcting because everyone hated it? Yes, I love having arbitrary challenges gatekeep. I hate this shit. Can you even re-roll them? Probably not. <laughs> like, imagine, dude. Yeah, what if you can't fucking get it in the games? You have to bash your fucking head over and over? No, you can't. Oh my, my god, of course. And dictate how I play video games. Hey, asshole teammates, come resupply for my fucking ammo box. I'm trying to unlock the Harriers. What? That's fuck? so cringe. Fuck asshole. Great idea for progression. So you want to get this fucking care package? Do you want to stick a shock stick up your ass? You yeah. Daily challenges. You only do like three a day. I love daily challenges. Yeah, we love Muda. Who walks behind progression? This is worse than mandatory. By the way, like oh, this drives me insane. Mobile game, dude. Make it make fucking sense. To me, the armory unlocks are just another example of Activision prioritizing <laughs> player. <laughs> oh my god! Attention. Uh, Act Man, but this time you get a choice of what you unlock. That's so yeah. bad. You know what game did that better? Ghosts. If I ever compare a new Call of Duty to Ghosts and Ghosts comes out on top in some way, you know. You fucked up. You done fucked it up! up. In mm -hmm. BO1 and Ghost, you earn currency just by playing and could pick what you unlock. That's it. Don't make me do stupid fucking challenges, okay? Just let me play the game. You want to talk kill streaks? Those are pretty much all the same. There's like three new ones. It would have been a perfect time to bring back support streaks, but come on, this isn't a remake mm -hmm. of MW3. Mm -hmm. Check out how cool this Juggernaut Recon streak is. It isn't cool at all. That it just was took awesome. away my weapons and gave me nothing. And how about ground war? Well, it's the exact same as last year. Although now there's a 50% chance the mode <laughs> will run at 15 frames per second. Oh my god! Dude, what? Nice, I got the glitch. So what does the glitch do? Oh my god, what doesn't it how do? How does this happen, <laughs> man? <laughs> That's what you want to hear. Oh, it lags to fucking. It's like a PowerPoint shit. presentation, man. Oh my god, dude. It is like. It is 
Oh my god, it's so bang, bad. Bang, bang! Yeah, where am I supposed Holy to aim, man? shit. The, the FPS is like 15 right now. It's like 15. Oh, nice. And oh. it is stuttering more than a child with a speech impediment. But <laughs> rejoice, Cod World War II fans. You can't just make fun of kids returns. like that. Is it better kids are than better before? than World War <laughs> You'll love the return of the same restrictive kill barriers that funnel everyone down. Get a better down. computer. Yeah, just get a 4090, bro. No room for ingenuity what are you or broke? creative traversal. No missiles for you today, lad. Oh, get fucked. Come on, I can't nice. even... Oh my god. I have to come up this way. I can't, e I, I, you, I can't even flank them. The war mode only has one map. Yep, they copied the mode from COD World War II. Yeah, Feral Bro Borns is saying so. To stop a missile Sound launch. like Mr. Ackman needs more money. We're gonna stop the missiles! Okay. At least it was stop stable! The yeah, it was stable shit. And the map shit. is made up of stolen assets from Condor <laughs> oh Hideout, Crossfire, and Countdown. This is a COD 4 map? No, no. If they're reusing shit from COD 4 too, man, this is... It is? Oh my god! Fucking idea! Oh, he's right. red. He's You're red. Right. He's mad. They had to steal maps from 16 years ago to hit that deadline. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I, I had kind of like right a uh, a subconscious feeling that I had seen this before, and you're absolutely right, dude. That is just this is sad. You know, at least the war mode used to let you play out certain fantasies, like storming the beach on D-Day. All three cute. launch maps yeah. were completely original, handmade. He even had an announcer that sounded nah, like man, he gave that a cost shit. Too much. Keep the enemy from building the bridge. The enemy is building a bridge. The, the bridge is being built. The bridge is half built. The enemy the is missiles. The bridge. Stop the, the missiles, chat. The bridge. They're building a bridge. <laughs> Lock the space down and eliminate the threat. A bridge. They're building a the bridge. Wait a minute. This version is awful. Yeah, they ruined it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's terrible. Although I was initially excited to hear factions would be returning, the announcers in the game are so lifeless and apathetic that I actually prefer the British guy from Vanguard. Team Deathmatch. Subdue all threats. At least you had character. Sight, sound, touch, smell, and <laughs> Oh, but th this had character, bro. That's actually funny. Like, yeah, it's bad, but it's funny. Yeah, it was attached sense, smell, and gun. Vanguard. Yeah. Oh my god, that was that I don't was even terrible, know but it's funny. We still have the operator system, and I can play his fucking Skeletor. Wait, wait, did you see? If you go to the operators and you go to Skeletor, it's Skeletor TM. I'm covering my face with my fucking hands. I'm sorry. You can't tell, but I am. I can't, man. What? <laughs> Great, yeah, I love that. It, you can play as Horde Skeletor TM or, or, or Disco <laughs> Skeletor. Why is he shiny, bro? Why is he shiny? Oh, I pay fifty dollars extra for this one. Disco Skeletor TM. I gotta wrap this up. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three is a, a lot of TM. Yeah, I wish. Con sponsor me right now. Their rampage of scummy business practices, Disco, attempting yeah, to pull Disco a fast Skeletor. one on their dedicated fan base by branding this expansion as a brand new premium title. Given the rest of the majority by the way. of content had to be stolen, copied, or recycled from other games. The series is creatively Crazy. bankrupt, and this deserves to be the worst reviewed Call of Duty. The yeah. campaign is worse than bad. It's an insult. It not only destroys the characters we grew to love, but destroys any interest I had in where this new Would timeline be a bad idea. was going. No, no, no. Zombies it, to me feels like- It's not a bad idea because then everybody knows that you spent $50 on it. Hey, let's see that free bonus. 
What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I I don't understand. Let's see that free bonus. Oh, the fucking Twitch bonus! Dang you! Yeah, the bonus videos. That's right. I was confused for a minute. The Warzone audience to zombies, not through the strength of the zombies <laughs> mode, but by making zombies Thank more you. like Warzone. The multiplayer will likely be fun for a time, and if any part of the game is gonna get love, it's this. And this game Take certainly feels like buddies. it was thrown together in 16 months. And that is why Call of Duty Modern Sucks Warfare 3 ass. is so bad. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if that you did and subscribe video. to the Act Man I enjoyed that awesome thoroughly. Content. Check the link in the description. Join my public Discord server. Yeah, join and follow me on Twitter more. and Instagram. All right, everyone. That's all I got for today. This great is the video. Man. Bam, Signing bam, out. bam. Like Peace. it. Like it, chat. Like it. Great video. Very nice. Clapkers, clapkers, clapkers. Very nice. Yeah, join us, Bizboard. <laughs> no, seriously, like, it, it, the fact that it got recycled that hard is really fucking sad, man. Also, thank you again, Minx. I really, really appreciate the bitties. The titties! The bitty titties. Meow, meow. Yeah, I, and the glitches and the bugs and everything else in between is just nuts to me. Dun, 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 dun. The titties? Yeah, bitties and titties. <sighs> ah, tickle bitties. Tickle bitties. That was something else, chat. That hurt my brain. Skeletor bitties? Yeah, the nippies! Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, 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 fuck,